Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns Wade Barrett or Bad News Barrett with a Bad News gimmick, right? Now with reports, now this is according to the Backstage Insider, paid subscription only at $13.99 a month, which is what I pay for. With reports of Vince McMahon being a fan of the Bad News Barrett gimmick, it is rumored that Barrett's return to in-ring action and being placed in the IC title tourney was a Vince McMahon idea. And that while many WWE, while many in WWE were not in favor of the Bad News Barrett gimmick at first and wanted to see it put on the shelf, Vince McMahon was hell-bent on creating and utilizing it to its fullest potential. He was hell-bent on creating and utilizing that gimmick, and I'm glad he did because I'm in favor of Bad News Bar Barrett. I like what Wade Barrett's bringing to the table. It's very interesting. I like his promos. I like the video package. I like his mic work. I like everything about Bad News Barrett, but there's even more details as it concerns Wade Barrett. Vince McMahon thinks very highly of Barrett, and it would it appear that WWE has a plan of action for Barrett this time around that won't fall into the cracks. Yeah, because remember when Wade Barrett had other gimmicks and they tried to go in a different direction with him, he would either end up, you know, just being the curtain jerk, or he'd end up just getting lost in the shuffle, or he would he would just end up looking like a piece of trash. Uh, but the feeling is now that since this was Vince McMahon, this the feeling now is that this was one of Vince McMahon's better ideas and many hope that it all works out for Wade Barrett this time around unlike many other failed attempts and that's the thing you know a lot of trial and error you know there's a lot of different things that you can say about Wade Barrett at the end of the day but Wade Barrett has the in-ring skills he has the ability it is just how the WWE books him it's just how the WWE utilizes him they are either going to enhance him they're either going to use him to his fullest potential or they're just going to have him get lost in the shuffle and me look like, me to look like a joke at the end of the day so ladies and gentlemen this is obviously you know a strong uh, indicator of what the WWE wants for Wade Barrett and what they're going to do for him in the future and I hope that this remains to be the constant hell I hope Wade Barrett becomes the brand new intercontinental champion even though Wade Barrett has already been intercontinental champion in the past it would definitely be a boost to his career at this stage of the game now tonight on Raw Wade Barrett will be on Raw he will be go he will be in action he will be in the semifinals of the IC championship tournament let's just hope that he makes it to the finals and he can go all the way to being a future WWE world heavyweight champion because we all know that Wade Barrett has those instincts and if there's any doubt about the direction of Wade Barrett now with Vince McMahon in control of the Bad News Barrett gimmick why would anybody want to see this gimmick go to waste why would they, why would anyone want to see this gimmick put on the shelf why would you want to see it be uh you know dead and gone already I think it's a great gimmick I think it's getting over and it's getting some positive feedback especially from yours truly Sean's View Entertainment subscribe